Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibe for, oh, whenever it resonates. You know, the timing is fluid, and this reading is not science-specific. This is a daily tarot reading, okay? A lot of people don't get that, but that's what it is. This reading may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here and see what comes out. I'm going to take this one. Um, yeah, we're just going to see what comes out. Again, these readings tend to resonate a few days later for me sometimes they're on the day but sometimes they don't even resonate at all so keep that in mind well okay all right so we got a repeat we do have it's funny because i said i'm going to take this one we definitely this is a repeat right so i mean the energy doesn't lie it tends to stay with us for a few days that's the reality of it okay that is a reality it is time to go and now, you know, we have somebody here that is probably taking their time leaving, but they're leaving. They're leaving. They're maybe they're halfway there. Maybe they're they're just about to the end of the road. Okay. So I mean <laughs> Well, interesting. Maybe they hit a fork in the road. But they're still going. They're still going. So very interesting. It's definitely time to go, crossing that bridge, leaving everything behind. There's a doorway in sight. It's like, I, I know that there's something better once I go through that door. Um, <clears throat> may have something to do with 45. I don't know what that comes from. It could be an age, could be a year. Nine could be significant as well. Um time for closure we have somebody that it's like it's they're I'm they're totally ready by the looks of things and they're crossing that bridge they are definitely crossing it I feel a sneeze coming on but I think I just got rid of it Oh, my goodness. The Queen of Cups reversed. <laughs> Does that look like the Queen of Cups to you? Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. But you could be uh, dealing with a Queen of Cups because that's what came out of my mouth. Could be a Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Queen of Swords. Could be a Queen of Wands. Whoever this person is. this We have somebody here that isn't stable. Not secure. This person is jealous. Um, unrealistic can't fight I mean something is going to slip away <clears throat> interesting I had to clear my throat there's a need to communicate here somebody's not communicating but anyway the queen of pentacles in reversed is somebody that oh is not stable at all not at all this person is a financial mess this person doesn't make practical decisions this person is not realistic this person is lazy this person is superficial doesn't matter what sign it is we all have earth in our chart this is an energy. Wow. Now, this is the end of a family legacy. Somebody is losing their stability. They're losing their, their uh, balance, something like that. There's, a, there's definitely a loss of abundance here as well. And this is your family legacy. It's like something is definitely slipping away. Something or somebody. It's like you can't save it either. You can't save it. it could be dealing with a Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. This is an energy. This is an energy of greed selfishness sabotage materialism
ego. This is hell. This is hell. Somebody is is losing something that they that they some sort of abundance. They may have they may have been looking for instant gratification of some sort. Oh my god, knight of coins reverse. We have a very shallow individual here. Somebody that definitely has a big ego and they're about to experience a loss. The knight of coins is somebody the knight of coins reversed is somebody that is definitely irresponsible. And it's male or female and it really doesn't matter what side it is. These are energies so that a reader can tell you what's happening okay so we have somebody here that is very unstable and insecure they're lazy we definitely have a lazy person this person may have addictions they may spend their money so fast that they, they definitely can't hold on to any money they just they're very unrealistic they have a lot of social pressure right they have to live up to social demands very shallow energy here this this somebody has an image problem we definitely have somebody here also that is unhealthy and it's like they're they're they have a really really bad habit that is costing them it's costing them dearly there's definitely going to be a financial loss here there is We have a very selfish, greedy individual who wants everything to look so good. And it's really not practical at all. It's not practical. It's not even real. It's not real. Somebody is obsessed. These are both, we have somebody that is really obsessed. They may be obsessed with their body, obsessed with looks. And it's just, it's really, it's draining them. It's draining, because and when I talk about looks... Looks of their vehicle, looks of their house, looks of their body, the the looks, the superficial, superficial everything. That's what we got here. We got somebody here that is so shallow and so superficial that they don't have any money because they're making so many poor choices. Because they gotta they gotta live up to so, so social you know demands. Uh oh. Definitely a loss here. Big, 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 big one. Oh my God. We got all these pentacles reversed. And I don't want to hear any comments about reversals. Anybody that puts a comment underneath here about reversals is not awakened. That we have somebody here that's losing their balance. They're not focused. They're they're losing their stability. They're they're very insecure. They're making one uh, one poor choice after another. Definitely, we're having a financial loss, and it's happening over and over and over again because this person is is all about the show. Everything they own, everything they wear, everything they do is superficial, and it's costing them dearly. This is a lesson that has not been learned. They're having a really, they're going to learn a lesson. They are because they're going to lose it all. We have somebody here that is going to lose it all. Or they are losing it all. There's a lot of, there's a lot of imbalance here. There's a lot of chaos. It's like, Whoo! This is big, huge. They could, they could be losing their home. They could be losing their job. It's like they're losing everything because of their addictions, because of their bad habits, because of their poor choices, because of the inability to make better, wiser decisions, because they keep on uh, trying to do too much or wanting too much or spending too much or something like that. They're, they're very risky. You know, they don't think first before they spend their money. They just, they're just, it's all about feeding that addiction. 
And addictions come in many different forms. Wow. Seven of Cups reversed. Now, this is seeing a situation clearly coming out of illusion. Yeah. Somebody is definitely going to come out of illusion because they're about to lose it all because of their poor choices that they made. That's not funny. It is not a joke. Okay. Somebody's about to lose it all. There could be a change in the home front. Okay. Um, maybe something to do with the 21st. I don't know what that means, but I just wanted, to, for some reason, I wanted to say that. Something could be ending on the 21st. Maybe that's when something happens. Um, that's when all hell breaks loose. On the, don't know if it's the 21st. I don't know when it is. I'm just saying. Um, something is about to break loose. Put it that way. <laughs> and it's not funny. All right. There's going to be chaos. There's going to be upheaval. And there is going to be a loss. All right. Somebody's losing their balance. They're losing their stability. They're they're losing their concentration. They can't keep up. They can't keep up. Um, they may have played a victim, but they've made themselves a victim to this circumstance. They've allowed it. They've chosen that path. Um, trying to compete. This is your competition card. Trying to compete with everybody around them. But this competition is just about over because this somebody is losing okay it's it's like because in one of the decks the five of wands is that tug of war and this is reversed it's like this it's over the game is over the gig is up oh my god the king of swords now this is this is somebody that is very decisive very um intellectual this is a, this is this could be somebody in Authority. This could be. This is a very mature individual who is very um, intelligent that sees things. This is an investigator or somebody that is uh, well educated. This person is very logical and matter of fact. It's like he sees something and he sees the facts. He knows the facts. This could be the. Um, Oh, I'm trying to think of the word for it. This is the somebody in, in authority. So this this could be somebody in the law. This could be um, the person that comes to take it away. You know, what do you call that? Repossess? <laughs> repossess? You're, 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 what do you call that? I don't even know. The person that comes to repossess. There must be a word for it. But anyway, this is the this is somebody who makes the decision. And he's going to see something clearly. This person, male or female, is going to see something absolutely clearly. This is not practical. It's not real. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. Whoever they're dealing with doesn't have any means of, of fixing it nor or even can fix it. It's like this, this is unfixable. It's... Oh boy, so we do have somebody here that is, is making an authoritative decision. Could be two people. Two people could be, be collaborating. They could be talking. They may be working together. They may be making an executive decision that they, it's, you know, this is dropping something, take something. Take something back. I believe that's what it is. I feel like something is going to be taken away because this person can't afford it. Whoever this, it's like it, it's not affordable. You can't afford it. Or you can't take care of it. You don't have the means. You're not stable. You're not se secure. You just, you're going to, it's time. It's time to go. It definitely is time to go. So, um, this is seeing a situation clearly. Becoming clear of the choice. There's no illusion here. There's no fantasy here. It's it's clear. It's absolutely clear that we have to take action. So that's what somebody is saying. It's like it's like we. It's absolutely clear that we have to take action. We have to go deal with this situation, whatever it is. 
I don't want to fight with this anymore. It's, it's done. We need to stop going back and forth. It's time. It's time to make this choice. It's time to make this decision. So I think there is definitely going to be a decision made that is out of your hands. It's in somebody else's hands. It's like somebody is making the decision. Okay? Um... Somebody could be le something could be leaving without closure. It could, okay, it's just like a you don't even get to say goodbye. It could have something to do with your home or somebody that you live with. This is leaving without closure, without saying goodbye. So somebody was bound to something that was unhealthy, and they just can't. It's not stable. It's it's really not. It, there's no stability. There's You can't save it. It's Like I said earlier, it's unsavable. It's leaving. Okay? It's leaving. You can't. It's too late. It is definitely too late. The gig is up. You can't pay for it. You can't take care of it. It's over. That's what I see. It looks... With this Knight of, of uh, Pentacles reversed, this is definitely financial loss. Somebody's not qualified. They're, they don't have any long-term plan, they're unemployed, or they're obsessed with something, they're lazy, they're unfaithful, they're irresponsible, um, they don't follow through, they don't have focus, they don't, they, they don't plan things, and when they do plan things, they're half-hearted plans, they're foolish plans, it's just it's very unreal, okay, this is unreal, and it is going to feel unreal, okay, this is going to be, this is like unreal, but it is real. It's very, very real. Somebody let their addictions or obsessions or greed or need to fulfill society's demands get in the way of reality. Somebody was temp tempted by all the things... <laughs> That look good, but really aren't. And now something is leaving without saying goodbye. Whether it's a person, place, or thing. <laughs> okay? There's no goodbye here. So. I knew it did too. I said I said to myself the empress is up next. Sure as shit. I should have just said it. I should have just said it. I knew it. The empress. This is like a mother. Could be a mother losing your child. I'm just I got I'm not going to fake it because that's not who I am. Okay. So I'm not sure if it is a mother you losing its child, but it's 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 uh painful. Okay, whatever this is, it's painful. There's no value here. There's no tender love and care. There's no unconditional love. There's no abundance. There's a lack thereof, all of the above. Okay, there's a lack of abundance. There's a lack of tender love and care. There's a lack of love. There's a lack of nurturing. There is somebody that is selfish and uh, smothering and uh, only cares about themselves. And this person that only cares about themselves is about to experience a loss. And it's going to be painful. And I can't make this shit up. So. There is going to be a decision made because we have somebody here that is not being taken care of efficiently or effectively or they're not taking care of business like they should. So if this is you or somebody that you know, somebody is about to experience a great big loss. I'm sorry, and good luck.